All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already yeah. know what time. Cut it out. All right, y'all know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily Call of Duty content. Let's get right into it. Hey, you tinning me? If we tinning, I'm winning. Anyway, y'all remember this little guy, man? When the last time y'all saw this little guy, he probably was in a stroller or something like that, man. A lot of the people that watch me for Call of Duty content, but hey, we back at it, man. And look, we gonna try to put up Call of Duty content as much as we possibly can. I gotta figure out how to use these new tags and stuff, man, and all that good stuff. But look, man, I just wanted to tell y'all, this is one of the best Call of Duties that's come out in quite some time, man. The, the, like I said, mechanically at the core, it's so sound. The control, I went back and played other Black Ops and all this stuff, man. The control just didn't, it felt like I didn't have as much control as I, as I wanted to have or what have you. And yes, LJ is by 6'5", which means that I haven't, I haven't put, um, don't touch that. Get up out of here. Get out of my sight. Get out of my seat, which means I haven't put up any Call of Duty content in quite some time. But look, if it's not the one or two things with this game that piss me off, it's the fact that all of it's in here. You got thick skill-based matchmaking. You got camping. You got the trash maps, loud feet, shotguns that can shoot you with one shot from across the map. Literally got a sniper rifle joint on it. You got the lobbies breaking up, and last but not least, the snap-on aim. If you were to take a couple of these things out of the game. Take all of them out of the game, and the game is awesome, right? But if you take one or two things out of the game, because it's not one or two, if the skill-based matchmaking was there, but they didn't break up the lobbies or something, right? Then we could circumvent it. We could circumvent skill-based matchmaking because you just you just surf until you find a good lobby, and then when you find a good lobby, you can just go on, right? But the thing with this game is, they decide we gonna straight punish you at every turn for nothing. For no reason. They wanna punish you at every turn, bro, for no reason. Like, like they like, yo, you gotta, you gonna get all of it. You ain't just gonna get some of it, you gonna get all of it. So, if you try to circumvent the skill-based matchmaking by lobby surfing, it's only gonna work for one lobby. You understand what I'm saying? If you try to circumvent skill-based matchmaking by, by leaving maps, they don't even let you veto the maps. Stuff like that. Like, things like that are what really tick me off about this game. Because it don't have to be that way. Just like this. Like, okay, so skill-based matchmaking, they need to turn it on or turn it off or stop not letting us lobby surf. Keep the lobbies together after the lobby's over with, man. Let the lobby, you know what I'm saying? Just let it be, bro. Don't. But they break it up so you can't just find a good lobby and then just crush people. I get it. It is what it is. The camping. Let's say camping for for example, right? You never gonna take camping out of video game, but it's never been it's never been this big of a problem. The only reason it's that big of an issue this game is because skill based matchmaking. Take skill based matchmaking out camping not a problem because the people that you're gonna be playing against, everybody will be just like that. Headshot. Oh, there ain't no headshot. They'll be just like that. Get body like, like just just like they not even there. But you know it is what it is. So skill based matchmaking. You take you know you got the. I, I don't know, man. Like I said, with all of this stuff. It was skill-based matchmaking with the trash maps. All this stuff, man. It just... I don't get it. I don't understand why they wanted to make it... Like, we just gonna tighten the screws all the way down to, to, to put the... To put the... Um, you know, put everything... To put the, the, the your ratio, your, your KDs at one as much as they can. Now, it don't matter, because you see I still be getting butt-ass naked on this game, man. But it, it just... It just makes you wonder what was their alternative. Like, they really want to keep everybody in a safe space. And I just thought about that this morning. If you take any one of these things out, like I said, take skill-based matchmaking out, we don't have a problem really with nothing. Leave skill-based matchmaking in. You can't take camping out of no game, right? Trash maps. Make the maps better. Then the skill-based matchmaking and none of that stuff won't even matter because you take that stuff out of the game, the trash map, you take trash maps out of the game, then we're not worried about the skill-based matchmaking, we're not worried about camping and stuff because we can circumvent it because the map design caters to something that that's actually fun to play. Look at this dude right here, I don't know what he's thinking about. I guess he thought he was gonna go up and come down and, and come back around. Look at me, hit him with the, I hit him with that AI crossover. Hip fire, you get caught up in it. Anyway, but look, so take the trash maps out of the game and then skill-based matchmaking, none of this stuff don't matter, all right? Then look, shotguns, we don't care about shotguns. You're never gonna take shotguns out of the game. Lobby's breaking up, we already talked about that. And look, I, by the, I, I have I have pleased everyone and by the grace of God, I've earned the right to move. Have you ever seen a game where you must earn the right to move, man? 
like I said, it is what it is, though. But, like, that's all I had to say about, about, about that part right there, man. Like, oh, yeah, the snap-on aim. Oh, my God. Take the snap-on aim. My, look at this dude right here. He just got straight out played. Like I said, if I'm playing against certain people, Look, you can just get straight out play. He try to throw a grenade. Nope, nope. Peekaboo, I see you. I know where you at. That's where I'm at right here. Look, they take out the snap out there, and he probably went in and got two shots on me. But like I said, though, all this stuff works together to make people. And a lot of people don't like Azir Cave. I actually kind of like Azir Cave, man. I don't know why. Maybe because the rest routes are reminiscent of the old Call of Duties and stuff like that. I'm not going to let nobody tell me what I like and what I don't like. I'm not going to let nobody. Oh, yes, and by the grace of God, I have learned, earned the right to move again, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get an amen down in the comment section? Like I said, you literally have to earn the right to move on this game because with the loud feet, just think about it. If, if they just took the loud feet out of the game, I could get to points and I could cut people off and I could do what I wanted to do, you'll get dropped. I could get, I could cut people off, I could do what I wanted to do, I could pursue people, people couldn't run away from me and just things would just be a whole lot better. It just sucks the way the game is that you literally have to earn the right to move. I've never seen anything. I got a game plan I'm gonna put up tomorrow, man. I was playing on uh, one map, I put on Dead Silence. Nobody knew I was there, I just killed everybody. It just, it just kills you how, like, how this game is so catered to the casual player that it just completely destroys it for everybody else. And look at my VTOL not doing nothing. He just shot my joint down, man. Bro, I didn't even get a chance to use my kill streak. Kill streak's the school in this game, man. I'm not looking at this dude. Look how bad. Oh, my God. Like, look at that. He could, but he could hear me coming the whole time. I ain't mad at him hearing me coming the whole time. I'm not mad at him hooping like that. But it's just the fact that if he hadn't hurt me, if I had had Dead Silence on, he would not, he not only would not have heard me, but I would have got the kill. Like right here, look at this. One piece. Two piece. Huh? Headshot. Get it, get it. Look at him. Let me just flip around, flip around the back. Three piece. Huh? UAV up. I've done all this for the right to get a UAV. And once again, by the grace of God. Whoa, stop shooting. Look at that. He's just camping. Better, better level design. Now, nah, actually, a better decision by me could have could have done something about that. But I think y'all understand what I'm saying, man. It's not any one of these things that makes the game bad. Because I would I would argue that they can leave all this stuff in the game. Two piece, eh? Bro, how do I shoot three piece, eh? How do I do that and not get a headshot? I don't get that. And I should have just had my gun up, but I didn't. But look, and, and I'm using the Kilo Ali too, man. But look, like, just think about it. Cause y'all agree that no matter what they do, if they just take one of these things out of the game, one or two of the things out of the game will be good. Hell, if they stop breaking up the dang old lobbies after the game, that would be cool because I can circumvent all of this because I can find a good lobby. I'd be able to find a good lobby and stay in there until I'm cool with it, just like we used to do with all the other ones. All the other ones had had trash maps. This is like Ghost. Y'all say Ghost had trash maps. I, I love Ghost. Ghost had trash maps, a lot of camping. Um, it didn't have loud feet, I say. I will say that. The shotguns were there. Uh, the lobbies didn't break up, but I'm sure the snap on name is a, is a Call of Duty staple, just like you can see right there how I get shot by somebody that can't even shoot. So the snap on name is a Call of Duty staple. We already know that. But with Ghost, you can lobby surf until you find yourself a good lobby, and then you can just sit in there and chill and have a good time. And that's what the game is about. We don't want to sweat every time we play the game. I don't want to think every time it's time to play this game. What I want to do is get on like I used to back in the day and play the game and not two piece, huh? And not have to think a whole lot. I don't want to have to wonder if somebody's all the way down there at the end of that place. Like, I would know if they're there, right? I don't want to sit, or sit there and think about how to play a game like a damn tactician. I want to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I just want to hoop. And they was right back there. I shouldn't have gone that way. I want to just get up at 7 o'clock in the morning and hoop from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. like we used to back in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare days. But the, right, the way they're doing it right now, man, the game is just not as fun as I feel like it should be. It should be a lot more fun. And they would just take my advice. Look at this dude right here in the house. You know, he's so oblivious. But, like, it's just like, if they would just take some of our advice, listen to it. And like I said, I know they don't want to take our advice and listen to a lot of this stuff, man, just because of the fact that this is their baby. Ain't nothing wrong with my baby. That's, that's, just, that's just human nature. This is my baby. Ain't nothing wrong with my baby. Don't do that. I don't know what he was thinking about. He just ran over there, run up and get done up, my boy. But I, I get that. That's human nature. But if you see people backing out of lobbies over and over and over again, man, you got to know something is wrong sooner or later. And yes, once again, by the grace of God, I have earned the right to move, ladies and gents. So I don't have to sit here to so watch me smoke it out. 
and I'm about to throw that thing on. I'm out like Coke. Got it. Did I turn it on? Yeah, I did turn on my dead side. When I say I earned the right to move, man, like I said, you should not have to earn the right to move in a doggone video game. But, like, you literally have to earn the right to move. They don't have to earn the right to cap. They get claymores off the nuts with restock. They get all this stuff off the nuts. Me, I literally have to earn the right to move. You can't move. I feel like I really be feeling like, and I'm streaming right now on Twitch too, man, so y'all come on by. I really feel like I cannot move in this game until I get dead silence. That's how I really feel. It's like you literally have to earn the right to move. It's so insane. But like I said, I got a couple of game plays. I'm going to show y'all how strong Dead Silence is. But I don't sit there and listen for footsteps and all of that. One motherfucking two mother. No, motherfucker. I don't sit there and listen for footsteps and do all that stuff, man. I'm a little bit rusty with my commentary and stuff, man. Get body. I got killed. And then he got killed by somebody else. Anyway, I'm a little bit rusty on the commentary, man. But you know, I'm going to get better, man. I got to come back. I got to get better. I got to do this, man. I love this game. And I'm really fucking good at it. Like right now, this this Call of Duty, oh, I'm good at this one. I used to not, I wasn't good at the other ones, but I'm good at this Call of Duty. I'm not gonna cap. Look at it, look at man, 25 and 11, man. It ain't the best KD or none of this stuff, man. But look, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This game will be so good. They don't have to take out all of them. Just take out one or two of those things and we'll be good. If you just start, matter of fact, start with not breaking up lobbies after the, lock, the game is over. And I guarantee everybody else will have a much better experience. People that's bad at the game don't know that they're bad. They don't care that they're getting trounced thoroughly. They just want to have fun with their friends. And a lot of those guys are playing with their friends and they want to get carried. But as your friend, I can't even carry you no more. Let's be real. A lot of people, a lot of y'all probably play with y'all in real life friends. And they want you to... Hey, 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 hey Shaheem, good at Call of Duty, man. We're going to play with him tonight and, and we're going to get some wins. Tell me that's not the case. And you can't even play with them and carry them no more because they don't allow you to unless you let them lead the lobby and then they lead the lobby, you'll get trash lobbies over and over. But anyway, like I said, take out any one of them things, man. I don't care about the skill-based matchmaking. Take out the loud feet, I'm straight. Matter of fact, just take out the loud feet and stop breaking the lobbies up and I would be good, man. But you know, they not gonna do that. Uh, I can figure out the maps. I done figured out the maps and stuff, but they're not gonna do that, man. They gonna keep on doing exactly what they want to. And, uh, hey, we just got to deal with it, man. But I got to get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. If they can take one of these things out. Only one you can remove. Or, or we're going to take three things out. But what's the first thing you would take out? Rank them one, one, two, three. What you would take out. Skill-based matchmaking. You can't take out camping. It is what it is. Uh, hardcore camping, I guess. Trash maps. Loud feet. Uh, shotguns that, that shoot you from across the map. Lobby's breaking up in the end. Or the snap-on aim that every to make the turns every noob in the doggone Zizzy Grizz. Y'all let me know which one down in the comments y'all taking away first. And which three would you take away? And I'm holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. God speak. Hey, I didn't really put up a whole lot of Call of Duty videos. Y'all didn't show me that y'all liked them, man. Y'all wasn't liking the videos. You weren't commenting on the videos. You damn near wasn't watching them. So, like, I'm not, I'm telling you right now, I'm not gonna keep putting these videos up. If ain't nobody watching them. But I will stream it on Twitch. Come holler at your boy, man. I'm out. Peace.